Hey everybody and uh, welcome back to another video. Um, you know, what's up for today? Well, not much. Um, so yeah, we're going to look at the not much email um, system uh, for Emacs in particular. Uh, so basically, I maintain two main email accounts. One, my personal, which is currently on Gmail. And I keep thinking about maybe moving it to some private, you know, more privacy uh, concerned uh, service, but I haven't done that yet. And my work email. And um, I also have my nonprofit and a couple other ones, but those are kind of much lower traffic. So, uh, so really it's the main two. And what I've been doing for the last few years is I've been using Emacs and in particular Mu4E on the work side. And I've been using just Gmail's whatever, you know, as a Gmail's interface for my personal. And I was thinking about moving everything over into Emacs, so I thought it would be time to look at, um, you know, <coughs> mail options again. And now, um, Mu4E is very nice, but it's not perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, it's, I, I really like the... Um, Emacs has this old, old, old mail reader called VM, which um, ha it doesn't support MailDir. It hasn't been supported at all since 2010, so um, you know I can't use it anymore. Uh, but but Mu4E is pretty good, um, so I've been using that. But um, but anyway, let's take a look at not much, and we'll take a look both at not much and Mu4E, and we'll go back and forth, and we'll we'll see, you know, which one is right for you and why. So one of the things is um, one of the things I like about um, Mu4E uh, not much is it's just a package on a lot of systems. At least here under this is Linux Mint, I can just install not much. Um, you know, or not much MUT or Vim or whatever. I can, you know, it's just packages. So I don't have to do any installations. Whereas for Mu and Mu4E, um, I would have to install it or I did install it from source. Not a huge deal, but that's a nice feature. Um, another thing is both not much and Mu4E are kind, are based on search. They're based on the Zapian library and they're used for search. So once they're installed, um, well, with not much, after I did the sudo app get install not much, which I'm not going to do now, it's already installed. Um, ah. And where am I here? Uh, okay, I, I just hit, you know, whatever. I uh, just uh, hit, I guess I hit page up to go to previous stuff. But um, you can just do not much setup. And that'll just ask you a few questions to do your setup. Again, I've already done that. And then not much new. Um, and not much new will um, update your, you know, your not much database from, um, you know, from your IMAP server if everything is correctly configured. Um, and I'm using M, um, MB Sync for my um, IMAP, uh, for pulling from IMAP, and it works pretty well. Every now and then I get these weird UID or UUID duplicates, um, and then I have to manually fix it, it's a pain, but I haven't come up with a better solution. I used to use offline IMAP, and that seemed pretty good, but slower. Um, then I went to MB Sync, and I actually tried to get back to offline IMAP, um, and it's actually installed here, and um, when I ran it, um, I it basically crapped out at the end with this error. So it's like, okay, that's not a help. Um, so still with MD sync, but anyway, um, once you've installed and set it up, you can just do things like not much, you know, search for the tag of inbox. Um, and I only have a couple of things on my inbox right now. If you, um, if you do a, um, uh, when you first install it, everything will be in the inbox, but I've been playing with it since yesterday. I can do, you know, I can look for a tag of archive. You know, you can look for multiple tags. You can look for the date being yesterday. Uh, you can look for particular text. You can look for things in the body of the email. If, you know, look for, I guess I don't have any of that in my body of emails. Um, I thought I did, but okay, whatever. Um, but for Mu, it's the same deal. You know, Mu find date yesterday, same deal. Um, you basically can search for both of them. They're both very quick. They both have this nice command line interface. Um, so let's hop over to the Emacs side of things. And this is the inbox that... Um, 
that I'm working on here. Um, so just so you can see what it looks like, and I'm going to try to make sure not to go to personal emails or information, you know, with, but uh, you know, we'll see how well that works. Um, and so the first thing I want to look at is configuration. So if we look at Mu4E, I needed some configuration for Mu4E, specifically this part up here, and I did a video before for Mu4E, so you can always go back to that. Um, this is um, uh, this is the um, for the sending the email for the um, SMTP stuff to send it out, um, and it's you know anyway I got it it works. You need this for not much. You need this for Mu4E. You know this is just needed if you're going to send from Emacs. But then there needed to be other configuration about where my folders went. Um, stuff like this that we can see, um, refiling, which is nice, which we'll all show in a minute because it's one of the things I like about mu for e over not much, um, you know, etc. So th there's various things there. Let me just get rid of all of my buffers here, start out clean. Um, whereas not much, I just had to install it and I didn't install it for real. I just used the try, um, the try command and I just installed not much that way. I'm not sure why it's listed here since it should already be installed. Um, so let's look at not much. And that's your interface. Now, a nice thing about not much or a very, very different thing about not much versus other email systems is it's purely tag based. And this is a lot like Gmail. So it doesn't have a concept of folder. So it's not like I have an inbox folder, or a draft folder, or all my mail. I have an inbox. And notice my inbox doesn't have everything in it. Um, it didn't update everything, and that's that's an issue. Uh, let's see if I can, um, it should. Let's look at all my email, and I can click on that and run down to the bottom. And it doesn't seem to be finding everything, so let's do a, a jump, and let's jump to unread. Nothing's unread, that's not good. Um, and this is one of my issues, but let's jump to, uh, jump to my inbox. That's my inbox. That's fine. Um, so let's quit out of this and let's go back to here and let's run mbsync a which will run mbsync and now if I go to not much and it should update. There we go. So now if we jump to my unread, I have an unread. I have that new one from Kyra's in the inbox. Um, so this is one thing I don't like is out of the box you're, or in your since you it doesn't really take you through the setup it doesn't say how we set it up to run your syncing program automatically now contrast that with mu for e where you do have to set it up uh, let's go back to the configuration here um, and you do have to set the, the command for this and then also set the um, the uh, how often how many seconds to update it with um, but but the thing is that that's part of the um, that's part of the documentation to set it up and then you're all good to go so that's one thing I, I liked on the Mu4E side but anyway you can just hit S for search and um, it's a little cut off on the bottom so let me move this up a wee bit and I can say like I want to get a tag of drafts um, nothing there so let's do a tag of maybe it's a tag of draft there we go and that's my tag of draft and notice that it lists the, the searches here you can either save them or delete them um, and that's kind of cool and this tag based system is nice because um, part of the philosophy is everything on your server stays the way it is you know like it doesn't change anything on your server you just change your tags um, so this is actually a problem for me and it's the reason why I ultimately decided not to go with not much um, because you don't really delete email you just tag it as deleted or archived or read and it just lives forever on your server. Um, and again, I conceptually like it, but it's an issue for me and I'll explain later on. But in terms of the interface, um, if I jump to my, un let's jump to my inbox. And why does it say four when I only see three? But let's do that anyway. I can move, you know, forward and backwards. I can type capital Z. Oh, that's four because this one from Alexander is a thread. There's um, what Alexander sent and what I replied to. Um, and I can quit out of that. And let's go and let's jump to all the email. Oops, let's jump to all the emails. Um, and the nice thing is you can always hit question mark here and get the help to show you all this stuff. Cue to quit out. Um, but 
it's all tag based. So what I can say is like I can say I want to tag everything with the star and I want to add everything to some super tag and everything gets a super tag. Or I can do star and I can say minus super tag. Um, but I can also say like this, this is a test email. Um, so let's add a tag. Let's, um, let's subtract the archive from that. Let's add unread and let's add a test. And so now if I jump to my inbox, I said if I jump my, to my unread, my test is now unread. And so you can do that. You can also, if I jump to everything, do individual uh, start as all of them, plus or minus opens it up to do an individual one, and you can do a lot of stuff there. But I can even go here and I can say for all of these, let's add uh, tagorific. And it does that for the range. Whereas if I can now do this, and it doesn't matter if you mark more, if you do minus tag, how do I spell it? Minus tagorific. So this tagging is really nice and really powerful. And there seems to be ways of using hooks. So like when emails come in, you can, oh, this is coming from this address or whatever, and it can automatically um, set up your tags. So this is all very, very, very cool. Another nice thing, again, this capital Z brings you here to this view. Um, a problem with this is if you, um, if you mark a bunch of stuff here and you like add a tag here, it only adds the tag to the last one, you know, to, to where the cursor is. So let's get rid of that. And I don't like that. Um, it would be nice if you could do that here and, and do a range. That would be kind of cool. I mean, you can also do other things like you can, um, like there's a, a key here to filter the search result. I think that's F. No, or capital F. No, okay. Uh, let's let's see. Let's search for a filter. Other useful commands are L for filtering the currents. Okay, so so if we're here and I do L and I can filter and I can say um, look for CS also in this somewhere, you know, etc. And and I can filter it. So very nice. Um, so what don't I like about this? Um, what I don't like about it is if I jump to everything, just so I have a. a jump to all, if I look at these emails, now it's not going next and previous. Now, if I'm here in my filter, in this, um, this view, this, uh, this threaded view, now next and previous does go through the emails. Um, but on the other hand, I think if it's part of a thread, like, you know, like next and previous sometimes seem to go for there. Um, so I don't like that. Another thing about this and, um, Let's see if I can quickly do do something here. Let me just uh, see if this comes through quickly enough. Compose. send that you know it goes automatically there because um because it does uh just because i have like all this you know this gmail send from whatever so what we'll do is we'll see if that comes up um in a minute but the other thing i don't like about this is um it doesn't automatically process my emails let me contrast that um so i do like the clean look i like the tagging but if i go into mu for e and um, I'm just going to manually update this occasionally to kind of um, see if I can get that new email, which will eventually come over. It's got to get from Gmail to Hunter and then down to here. But what I can do is I can do things like if I just hit R, it automatically archives these because I set up my refiling command to do that. And then like here, if I do R on this and then I do X to execute it and Y, it'll move that into my archive. I'm not gonna do that now because I wanna leave that there. If I do D, it's going to delete it. Um, I can undo that. I can do like, you know, delete, or uh, you know, that'll move it to trash, but delete, delete, archive, and trash. And then, you know, so I can set up all these marks and then operate on them all at once. And again, let's just see if that other one comes in. 
So what I can also do is let's go to other. I can, you know, if I go to trash, um, I can see these trash emails. So uh, this one is from me, and I can move this into my hunt. I can do other for another one. I can specify, but I can move this to my hunter email. I can, you know, I apply the mark, and now it's in my hunter email. And from here, I can move it, and I can move it to new folder, you know, and it'll create a new folder, and I'm just going to delete that one. Um, so this lets you kind of just mark and move and do all those types of things that I normally would want to do with my emails. Um, but on the other hand, when you're in, um, and I guess you can do some of this with the tagging with not much, but it does take a little more work and a little more setup. The other thing that I don't like is it doesn't have this automatic processing for this. So like I like here that I can look at my emails and they're just emails that I want to immediately move somewhere else or, you know, I'll, I'll see an email and I'll know what the content is because it's a reminder I'm sending, I'll just delete it, whatever. Whereas within not much, it it doesn't work that way. I have to go into it. I mean, I guess you could do stuff like let's jump to all the emails. And if I'm here, I can I should be able to yeah, I can add the tags and stuff right from there. So that that does work. So a couple other things I want to show. Um, one thing I'm going to show for Mu4E is there are other packages like install this Mu4E overview. And that's kind of cool because it lets me install, you know, it's just another way to get into this. Um, but there's another one I installed called Council Not Much. And that lets me do stuff like this, date yesterday. Uh, it lets me type in my um, query into a council, like Ivy type things. There's also a Helm version. And then bring up the email through there. And the other one I want to show is there's a package called Nevermore. And that's also like this. And um, that G brought up the new email, so I don't know all the keystrokes for this. But I can do a search here, you know, and... You know, I can type in my tag and it brings it up and, uh, um, you know, and then, you know, here and then next preview. So it's another nice little interface. Um, in terms of sending email, it's pretty much the same. Um, you know, mu for e has those hooks to use like org message and stuff. But since I usually do my messages um, just plain text, it doesn't make a difference for me. So now, which am I sticking with? Well, I said I'm sticking with mu for e and the reason why I'm sticking with mu for e um, has nothing to do with not much. I, I, they're both cool packages, and I would play with, like, I think conceptually I like, or philosophically, I like not much a little bit better um, because I don't really use a lot of folders. You know, I have um, inbox, archive, and that's pretty much it, and trash, you know, and getting rid of it, to deleting it. Um, and so tags would work well with that. Um, and um, the problem, though, is that Hunter uses Outlook. Um, and, well, okay, I don't like Outlook, but beyond that, they give us very small quotas. And since they give us small quotas, I can't leave email on forever. I just can't, like, leave it on the server, and that's that. Um, I do have to delete email fairly regularly, um, and if I don't, it's a problem. Everything fills up. I don't get my emails. Um, and because of that, I can't really move to a mail client that doesn't really delete emails. Um, and, that, you know, which is why under, you know, under mu for e you know, I do this combination of doing, D, you know, if I go got rid of it, I delete it for good. And if I, you know, if I want to keep it, but archive it, I just archive it. Um, and then for both of these, you know, like they both provide the search. So I could search for, you know, the date is yesterday. You, you know, I can, I can do the similar types of searches um, that both of, you know, they both have the same back end. Um, but I did want to show this because they're both really nice mail clients. It would be, you know, and that Nevermore front end is also kind of cool. Um, it would be really cool if they could do, like, if they could combine all their powers into one, like, really good mail client. Um, you know, and um, I'm not going to write it because, you know, my ELISP uh, skills are not that good. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you're not checking out, you know, check both of them out because they're both really, really really good. Um, it's just what flavor you want. Um, I'm going to see about setting up Gmail for um, U4E at some point in the near future so that all my email comes out to Emacs. And yeah, and so that's it. And I hope you liked it. Okay, bye-bye.